I gotta say thanks to one of my subscribers. He sent me these cool stickers, uh, Knox Truck Safety Pays. Um, I got one on my toolbox here. He also sent me a Topcon hat. Uh, and he sent me this little truck. Funny thing about this truck, I was driving it around and I went to unhitch the trailer and I realized there's a USB port and <laughs> plugged it into the computer. Topcon, he went to the Topcon Roadshow up there in Bozeman. And uh, I guess that's how you say it. I'm not from Montana. But that has all the information on their new equipment, their new technology. And it's, I, I went through that and watched a lot of stuff uh, that they do. It's really cool. He also sent me this uh, really cool circumference tape. And I don't know if you've ever used one, but you can wrap this around a piece of pipe and it will tell you to the nearest hundredth of an inch how what the diameter of the pipe is. And that's really, he's pretty handy to have. So anyhow, he set me up pretty nice. I appreciate that, Knox. Um, pretty cool. And I got a sticker on my pickup. If I need somebody to haul something, I know who to call now. Knox Trucks out of Bozeman, Montana. Thank you for the hat and the stickers, Knox. Appreciate it. Is this legal, Jeff? I think it's probably worth it. I don't have a dolly for my scraper like Jeff does. my blade works on my bucket well this is how I've got mine set up I just took some old uh, some old teeth and just actually put the blade up there and I got it set where uh, these these teeth are angled these are all straight so you can slide it right on and it seems to work pretty good I've used it pretty you know used it quite a bit but anyway that's how that's built pretty simple deal just took an old blade and welded some shanks on it or some old uh, teeth actually old teeth
Eric bought a new truck and it's too quiet, just like his welder. So we gotta take the muffler off his new truck. He says he needs a cutting torch and a hacksaw or a sawzall. Sawzall. He needs a sawzall. I get this over with you, real but quick. before we get it off, I wanted to show you. I, I want to admire this this piece of work that they, they put into this muffler bracket. It's really impressive. I think Eric welded it though. It out. looks like it looks like some of Eric's welds here. Um, and I think Eric might hey, have you know really what? did that. It held. It did hold. So, uh, you okay. already took the. This was the best part. He already took this. Up. This was an adjustable brace that went from up there to the frame. That that was the best part because you could adjust it to keep it level. I thought that was nice. It was a really really cool deal. That must have been an engineer. Yeah, must have been. So Eric thought we better listen to it before the muffler is off. Is it ready to start? with a big exhaust leak and a muffler on it. Maybe we can fix that and uh, it'll be a little louder. morning I was able to make it back home but that's gonna not be cheap the real danger is still working uh, the radiator looks like it's gonna need a core I haven't opened the hood to see what other damage there is it don't look like it did too bad here comes Scooby-Doo Swapping trucks around today. Little Red got a deer this morning, so I'm gonna use old little Whitey here on my trailer. This one don't have insurance yet, or I'd use it. But anyway, yeah, I get a daylight video. Well, I'm in the barn. It's evening. This is Little Red after we hit a deer. Um, the sucker jumped about the time we hit him and he missed the bumper completely the bumper's perfectly smooth no hair on it um maybe a little scratch there but he got the grill he and this is not just a grill this is a air conditioner condenser if you don't know kenworth this is the grill denser unit um so it serves two purposes look pretty and cool your truck or your air conditioner so not only that he got pushed that into the radiator the radiator got pushed into the fan and i'll show you what we got here and i'm not sure I gotta get some light. So, um, this is what the core looks like when it gets shoved into the fan blade and the engine was probably running about, I don't know, 
1500 RPM at the time it hit. Um, I was on the brakes, I left black marks. I mean, I, I tried my best to swerve to, to get around him. He was in my lane, I was actually in the the uh, left hand lane whenever I hit him on a two lane road. So, you know, I tried my best to get him, get out of the way, uh, didn't work. So, tomorrow morning, um, I'm going to take Eric's truck down, move my backhoe, and then after I get it moved to Stillwater from Oklahoma City, I've got to uh, make a trip down to Sherman, Texas. Uh, old boy down there has a radiator for me. At least he says he does. We'll see when I get there, I guess. Uh, supposed to happen. Well, Eric doesn't think it's a good idea, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to smash my, my grilled dinger. He thinks I'm gonna fall through here in a second. Help you out. Well, it might take two of us in here jumping on it. You're on it. Is it hurting the hood? Yeah. I might not need one, Hell, I'll just straighten this one out. A little bit on the tighter side. Uh-oh, I think I just put a dent. Well, no, I think the deer put that dent in there. Okay, how's that? Looks better. Looks like a new one, doesn't it? Yeah. The radiator don't look so good. I don't think I can jump on it and straighten it out. We'd have to pinch off a couple of tubes on that one, wouldn't we? Maybe half of them. on it I didn't smash it I, I basically got inside there and uh, jumped on it while Eric was watching and made sure I didn't bust anything on the hood but I got it straight enough I could leave that in there and run it for a while it might look like crap but until I figure out what I'm gonna do on that uh, I may want to put a dummy grill in it or a fancy grill and just put a condenser on the front of the radiator fan blade didn't get damaged I think it's pretty straight um, Eric's washing Scooby um, but 
this is the front side of the radiator where the deer hit it you still got a little bit of deer hair in it um, didn't do any damage to the sides of course these you know pretty heavy built radiators but these are cast aluminum that could have broke it but over here this is the side that hit the fan and uh, it, it did you know didn't do it any good when if it hadn't have hit the fan I probably could have went ahead and drove it to work it was it was seeping a little bit but this sealed the deal on it hopefully I haven't seen the radiator I don't know if the radiator is any good <laughs> the guy says that he pulled it off his truck because he's changing it from a Cummins to a cat motor and I think he's going to an air to air Cooler, so he's got to change radiators to make that happen so he said it was running good whenever he pulled it out so hopefully uh, it'll turn out to be worth the trip down here uh, it's going to take me about eight hour round trip probably something like that but uh, my other option would probably be to take it into a radiator shop and get him to record and it's a toss up probably on the well it's going to be cheaper to go this route, but the downtime with putting a core in a radiator is kind of an unknown, so I'm trying to avoid that, so hopefully this works out, I don't know, and I may be going the wrong direction. The thing is, if I've got two radiators, then I can actually, you know, if, if one of them does cause some trouble later, I can go ahead and get a core put in my old one, is kind of what I'm thinking. Uh, maybe down the road a year or two if it, if it starts needing, uh, if, it, if it starts overheating or something like that. But anyway, head to Texas. Kenworth but there's a difference this radiator is a wider uh, has a wider core mine has a narrow core and I'm gonna have to fabricate a four inch lift between this bracket and the brackets I've got and I'm trying to figure out the easiest way to do that the way the other truck was built it had a four inch spacer sitting on top of the frame uh, cross member in the frame and this one is a little different it had the brackets bolted right directly to the cross member so 
I think I need about a four inch lift between <clears throat> between the brackets I've got and the radiator. So that's what I've got to work on today. So this is what we ended up with on the mounts. I had to build a square tube. Uh, spacer will space it up four inches high. And, these are, and I had to drill out the, uh, drill some new holes out here to get the wider uh, spacing. And now we're ready to put everything in it, I think. Well, I got the radiator back in a little red, got it full of antifreeze. I think everything's gonna work out. Uh, the only thing that's a little different on this uh, radiator well other than it's wider um, the fan blade on this one is a little bit smaller than what the original truck had so I, I may need to find me a, a little bit maybe a I think the fan blade measured it inch and a half bigger than this one or maybe two so I may have to find me another fan blade but this radiator holds more water has a, a lot more core surface area so i think it's going to probably um it's pro probably going to be better than what was in it um so come out pretty good on that deal i had to build these spacers um and modify the cross member a little bit to get those uh get the holes in them where i needed them but i just got some odds and ends to tighten up i got a few things i need to get done tie up well, get some of my wires and hoses tied back up here. And amazingly, the air conditioner still works. Now, the grill does not look <clears throat> great, but I am gonna try to straighten out the grill bars that are on it. And uh, maybe I'll just run it for a little bit till I can figure out what I wanna do with the, cause I haven't found a, I think I may put a dummy grill in it and uh put a condenser on the front of the air conditioner or on the on the front of the radiator i think that may be a better choice for for now uh i did get a new top piece and some new side pieces when i went and got the radiator they're not new they're used off another truck but they're in pretty good shape i mean they're not perfect um they need the side pieces need a little chrome i didn't get the chrome bottom strip but I'll gather some more stuff up and get it done, hopefully pretty soon. Mm -hmm. 